So the Adidas Ultra Boost 21 Gore-Tex was one of my favorite versions of the Adidas Ultra Boost for like weather resistant uh, uppers and just an all around like winterized look and feel. But now they have an updated version with the Adidas Ultra Boost 22 Gore-Tex and this is a nice uh, revised version from the previous with a couple small differences uh, that I like and maybe a couple that I don't like as much. But I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the Adidas Ultra Boost 22 Gore-Tex. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching the video. I just wanted to remind you guys that Adidas has a golden ticket scavenger hunt going on right now with StockX. There's a link in the description. It will take you over to StockX's site. Then you guys can try to find the hidden page with the link to the golden ticket. And basically, if you didn't know what a golden ticket is, it gives you unlimited access for a month on the Adidas confirmed app to be able to buy whatever you want and not have to enter the raffle. I think that's awesome, especially with the holiday season coming up. I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of great releases that you're gonna be able to just instantly have access to if you find that hidden link and you win the golden ticket. The contest does end 10, 13, 12 p.m. ET. So hope you guys get a look and find the link and uh, good luck to you guys. And just so you guys know, Adidas is sponsoring the video, which as a creator and somebody that's like independent, having these sponsorships are just amazing and super essential for the channel but they don't like dictate anything that I say about the product. It's just my own thoughts about uh, what I have for you guys. So appreciate that sponsorship and hopefully you guys do too. If you guys wanna buy a pair of these, I will link them in the description. Anyways, the Gore-Tex version, Adidas Ultra Boost 22. Absolutely love the look of the updated version. I think it looks sleek. It's kind of reminiscent of an Ultra Boost 22, obviously, but I wanted to tell you right off the bat that they do fit snug. So I'm a true 9.5. I need a size 10 in these. 9.5 is just too snug. I took out the insole and it works okay without that, but honestly, I would prefer a size 10 instead of a 9.5. So wide feet gang, 9.5 might be a little too snug if you're a size 9.5, go up a half a size. Right out of the box though, I'm looking over the shoe. I like the details. First of all, I like the shroud and the see-through material there. It looks pretty cool. The previous version had it over the toe box, so they kind of changed the position of that. And then now you have a little bit of a, a cover over the shoe. It's non-functional cover though, because it's see-through and it's actually breathable. So if you get water into it, it goes right through it to this material here, but this material is water resistant. So you don't have to worry about a lack of protection because the entire upper is water resistant, which is something that I really think is dope. If you don't want to go with the sneaker boot option, if it's a little too extreme, a little too high for you, uh, but these are amazing. I already did a video on those if you guys missed it. If you don't like that, then the sneaker approach is obviously really good as well. Uh, with that Gore-Tex protection. First, a couple words from what Adidas says and then I'll compare it to the previous. Running shoes for raining conditions made in part with recycled content. Don't let the wet weather come between you and your run. These Adidas running shoes are made with breathable Gore-Tex membrane that help keep your feet dry and comfortable in rainy days. The midsole features hundreds of boost capsules fused together for an incredible energy return to power you from start to finish no matter the distance or conditions. These feature the Adidas LEP system or the linear energy push uh, system that is integrated in the outsole. It increases the forefoot and midfoot stability for more responsiveness. Obviously Gore-Tex membrane, Adidas Boost midsole, and then you have the Continental Rubber outsole. Then you do have the Stretch Web outsole with Continental Winter Grip Rubber. They weigh about 14 ounces for a size nine, just so you guys know. So they're a little bit heavier, but uh, they do have a lot of traction. Well, is it worth buying over the previous model? I mean, these are expensive. I think 230 is retail price. I have posted them on sale as low as like 157, 154, something like that. So if you can get them on sale, then obviously that's a tremendous deal. I think it's almost semantics, whether or not you like one or the other better. It's really like a style of the upper preference, which is almost identical. A couple of small differences that I like better on the second version, a couple of small differences that I like better on the first version uh, of the 2122s. So on the 22 Gore-Tex version, you do have a softer liner. For the 21 version, it's almost like they had a wetsuit material that like lined the trim uh, around the liner and then also around the tongue. And that was kind of nice, but honestly, I prefer the feel of the 22s better. For me, the added padding is always welcome. Another thing I kind of like better about the second version over the first is the zip on the side. You have to have it zipped in order to have the water protection because the material underneath the zip is not water resistant. However, on the 22s, this shroud is just for looks. You don't have to have it zipped up to have that Gore-Tex protection. Protection, you can have it completely unzipped and this is completely water resistant from this point down. I think both versions with the Adidas Boost midsole is excellent and then also the traction with the Continental Winter Grip is also excellent and it's the same on both of the shoes. You also do have an improved pull tab on the second version. Honestly, I like the way that they have the loop here better than the little tab. If I had a nitpick about this though, the one thing I did like about the previous version, even though you had to have it zipped up usually uh, for the water protection, I actually like the look of the side zip a little bit better than the zip front on. Something about the traditional laces 
is like a nice plus. So it's honestly, again, a style thing. If you like the sleek look with the laces covered up, then that's a great look. If you like the laces and just a kind of a more of a regular looking pair of sneakers, then you can go with the previous version. But the fuse material around that makes it look like kind of the Ultra Boost down here, I like the look of that. And then you do have the stability and everything else in the back that's pretty much the same as the previous versions. So the recap, some of the things I like about the shoe, there's a lot, I mean, the Gore-Tex is excellent. It protects your foot, your sock from water very, very well. I think the look of the shoe is nice. The Ultra Boost 22 model in general, I really like. Uh, the boost in here is obviously good. Same with the other Ultra Boost 22 models. The outsole with the winter grip is nice. The liner is nice as well, nice and soft. Uh, my preference to wear these with the laces down. I also like the laces with a little lock on it. It's kind of a nice little plus. But as I mentioned, they do fit snug, so go up a half a size. And uh, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about the Adidas Ultra Boost 22 Gore-Tex version. If you're looking for water resistant sneakers on your feet that are comfortable, this is one of the best ones on the market. There's a couple other really good ones. The one that I would stay away from that I thought I would really like though is the Nike Pegasus Trail uh, 4s. I thought they were gonna be so good. I have a video review on those that I'll be posting, but I just can't do them. I actually have to return my pair, just they're not uh, comfortable the way that uh, they fit me. But uh, anyway, Great option, a little bit expensive, but if you can get them on sale, and I will always post them on sale anytime I see them. If you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, please do. It's always in the description of my videos, at uh, Hesskicks. But I always post them when they go on sale. And once again, don't forget to enter that golden ticket raffle in the description of the video. Good luck. Hopefully one of you guys actually end up getting the golden ticket. I hope I get one. Honestly, I strike out on the confirmed app all the time. So I would love to be able to get one. Appreciate y'all. If you guys want to buy a pair of these, again, link in the description. Have a good rest of the day, and hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos. All right, peace, guys.